Okay, so I want to show you how to do these curve eights that are on the Brava blanket that I designed for nitpicks. So you can see that there's a line of chain that drops down below the level of the knitting. And I want to show you how to do that. There's no breaking of any yarn. You just use a little crochet hook to make the line. So when you are getting ready to do a curve eight, you put the yarn in front. You put the yarn in front like this. Then you slip the next eight stitches. Just slip them purlwise. You're not going to do anything else with them this time, so the right thing to do is to slip them purlwise. Okay, so there's our eight slipped stitches, just like that. The next step is to drop all those knitting needles and get ready with your yarn. So, um, you want to identify the stitches that we're going to use. So we're going to use one purl bump below each of the eight slip stitches. We're going to use the second one down here, this one, the third one down here, the fourth one down for four stitches in a row, and then we'll go back up. So the third one down here and the second one down here. I'm going to show that to you again just in case. So you can see we've got the eight slip stitches and for each of those we're going to use a different purl bump. Second one down, third one down, fourth one down, fourth one down, fourth one down, fourth one down, and then the third one down and the second one down to curve back up. So the way it's going to work is you'll insert your crochet hook from bottom to top in the correct curl purl bump, pull a loop through, and then chain one. Now the first one is a little bit different because you don't have any history. Now we're going into the second one with a loop already on the needle. So you're going to go into the one, two, third one down, and I find it easier to pinch like this. Pull the loop through both of those and then chain one. Next one, the fourth one down, one, two, three, four. Pull a loop through both and then chain one. Next one, insert needle, pull a loop through both, chain one. We've done two of the bottom ones now. This is the third one. Insert the needle, pull a loop through both, chain one. And now the last one, insert the needle, pull the loop through both, chain one. Now it's time to go back up again. So we have two slip stitches left, you can see. And we're gonna go into the third one down right there. Third one down, pull the loop through both, chain one, and now the second one down. Pull the loop through both, chain one. Okay, so now it's time to put this loop back on the left needle so we can do a slip slip knit. And I found the easiest way to do it was to slip it as if to knit, so that reverses the mount a little bit. And then when I get ready to do the slip slip knit, I can just do it the way it's supposed to be done without having to think too hard. So slip one, slip one, insert the needle, and you knit those two slip stitches through the back loop. Okay, and there, it's all there is to it. You have from beginning to end how to do that curve eight. And it looks pretty cool, and uh, you didn't have to break the yarn to do it. So, congratulations.